the Isaac Wolfson Stadium wasn't particularly conducive for that. But now they'll be able to really, really play their football. And I think we're all excited to see that, as is the man alongside me, Mr. William Shong. Even further, obviously the field and the grass is beautiful, but the wetness, yes, it might have been a bit of a challenge for the teams that played earlier because it was still raining then. But now it has stopped. So the um, surface is just good enough for that roll of the ball. For a quick passing game like Bafana Bafana likes to play, but will they take advantage? But Lesotho is just as good with their ball at their feet. And they'll be able to mix it up in terms of uh, how they attack as South Africa have a very early chance here. And uh, what an introduction. Oh, oh, we, man. <laughs> we cursed proceedings. It's not quite uh, drilling down as it, as it was earlier, but uh, it certainly intensified in the last minute or so. Trouble for the goalkeepers, but an opportunity for the African players to test the goalkeepers from some range and hitting the ball, dipping just in front of the goalkeeper. Benny's delivery early goal brilliantly done well that's why they put a natural left footer on the left hand flank he's delivered in an absolute peach and Victor Letzuolo an international debut has stuck it away for the opener my concern obviously has been nullified that uh, there's not aerial presence about him but if the ball is peach in that fashion direct into his run Beautifully played, just uh, maybe listen to a little bit challenged by the center of defense because Bulakang uh, is not a natural uh, center of defense. One of the final one that went by two goals to one. Matla Masanko scored Flumpo Kekana. <laughs> Got a, a goal in that, uh, in that match. And then their next meeting came in the quarterfinals in 2016. It was a one-all draw, Kif Matupa for South Africa. Johnny Tapanzo is on the bench for Lesotho. Scored their goal, and then uh, South Africa won 4-2 on penalties. Two of the players in the 11 for Lesotho today, Kutlang and Makepe, the centre-half, actually missed their spot kicks. Oh, another good cross, and this time it's taken away from Litsualo, but it is put in by Mkulisi, who profits from the parry. And the dynamic, diminutive midfielder has given South Africa a cushion inside 20 minutes. Now, the goalkeeper obviously at fault here. Yeah. He tries to hold the ball. And, uh, the conditions are quite too favorable, but I, I didn't even think that it was that hard of a shot for him to let it pass. And uh, but even better from Nkulise that he anticipated something might happen in that box, so he reacted uh, quickest to get himself into an area to profit from the goalkeeper's mistake. Narrow angle for Moby to try and uh, take it from, but hard. Goalkeeper must take full responsibility. Ball slips through his hands. So it's as that. Jumping up and down on the spot trying to keep warm. Bobby tosses it back into play for Tobo found Sitebe. Nice little flick there. Lovely exchange of passes and Saleng is opted for the unselfish route. It could result in a goal, but Kubeni who's joined the attack. slipped big opportunity here for a third it's brilliant delicate and a brace for the debutant Victor Letzualo couldn't have called it better eh? um, obviously it's a mistake from uh, it's a defensive mistake um, I think uh, 
he obviously tries to bring the ball under control and he sleeps and immediately the high press comes from Bafana Bafana and uh, then at the moment in front of the goal with the goalkeeper approaching look at this the Bulacan, he slips and he loses control of the ball but that for me is the best moment of the game um, from Letualo in the way that once in front of the goalkeeper he knows it's coming he knows he's going to go down just takes it over that's a it's a great goal Beliot <laughs> was on the move. They have such an advantage here. It's not as if they're still trying to to find a breakthrough in the match. But it would be ambitious in any case. So no one really expected to to score from here. It takes the pressure off even further. Magoy and Yusuf Mart appear to be interested. Satebe is there too, but perhaps just to set it up. And it is Mabwe, and it's into the wall. It's broken kindly here, and Victor Lepsuolo has tucked away his hat trick. It's the simplest way you could possibly want to complete your treble into an empty net. A debut hat trick for Lepsuolo. Now, I just want to bring Mabwe here. Did, what did it mean? He hit it low into the wall as if deliberately looking for some form of deflection because he had enough uh, in that space to be able to maybe for Bafana Bafana to pick up the pieces. And this one, luckily, and uh, underneath goes through forward. Actually, deflects from a Bafana Bafana player who was.